Okay, I am here with Byfield and LTH from Flow State. Uh, I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, I yes. think, Byfield, how, like, how are you feeling coming into the LAN? Yeah, feeling good. Practice has been good. We've been practicing hard, harder than ever. You know, the last team that we had when we were a mix, me and Lorenzo, a European mix, we did not practice. Not because of me and Lorenzo, but for other members in said team, we did not practice. And we're not fans of that. We want to be hardworking grinders uh, in teams that work hard and prepare for events. And that's what we've done here. Obviously, there is the caveat that we have a stand in. So it does take away from that. However, with the circumstance, with the circumstance at hand, we've tried our best, worked the hardest for the event, and we're going to smash it. Awesome. And do you, does that pretty much echo your thoughts? Yeah, I agree. This is the first LAN I've gone to with actual full prac coming into it. So I'm very confident to do well. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've scored pretty impressive results at LANs in the past without any prac. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do like, with a practice team. Um, obviously, you've both come from, like, lunch before you, you've come from Invictum, you've come from Reason in the past. And those were... I tell you that a little bit tumultuous, a little bit turbulent. Um, I know sitting behind you both at the the last land downstairs, there was, there was it seemed to be a bit of friction. Um, obviously, without you know digging up old drama sort of thing, um, do you think that you know contributed to the ultimate downfall of those lineups? And is that something that you're keen to avoid going into this one? Um, I would say I'm on a better team now than I was before. I think many people would agree with that. Um, so it has worked out in my favour. In terms of how Reason Gaming ended, I wasn't involved on that. It was. Uh, come to TeamSpeak, on TeamSpeak, this has happened, this is what's going to happen, you're now out of the team. It was nothing that I was involved in, okay. um, which is obviously very painful considering I put my heart and soul into that team, that brand, and no one can say otherwise. Um, however, it was lessons learned, that's the best way to phrase it, but I've come out, uh, for the, I've come out better for it. Mm -hmm. Um, and now I'm very happy working with Lorenzo. Yeah, awesome. And obviously you're, there was quite a public sort of blow up and I don't want to dig all of that up, obviously, but um, like the same sort of thing. Like how are you feeling about this roster in, in terms of that, that overall team chemistry and also like how are you looking to avoid those sort of mistakes from the past? Yeah, definitely this team is, I focused a lot more on building it with consistent pieces mm -hmm. rather than focusing on the individual skill because at the end of the day, the only way to actually make it to a significant level in the game is to stay together for a long time, yep. to grind, to actually improve. If you focus on the short-term success, yeah, you can get the guy with 4K ELO who is probably toxic and you're going to find that out one, two weeks in and then the whole team's either going to blow up or they're going to leave for no reason anyway. So with this team, we've definitely picked up the pieces that are available to grind. I know their mindset is solid. Their individual skill is still good, obviously. That is important. Um, and we're just grinding every day, pretty much. Awesome. I love that. Um, so then, if we talk sort of macro for this LAN, mm. where placement ex expectations, where are, we, where are we expecting to, to place? To where are we expecting to place here? Well, I've got a certain history of doing better every LAN. Okay. Not to say that we're expecting to win this LAN with last time me coming second. But I would definitely put us coming top two as following that trend of going upwards because it's obviously a way more stacked land than yeah. the last one I was at. Um, I wouldn't say we're expected to do that, but personally, I think we can and probably should, depending maybe on how the matchups go around as well. Um, in terms of matchups, like obviously the UK scene's full of rivalries and little, you know, friendships, that sort of thing. Is there anyone at this land that you just really want to like have a lamping? Dexy, Nem, Belfast Storm, we're coming for you. Okay, and yourself? Nah, not really. Uh, I, take, I just take everyone on. Yeah. I like it, okay. Um, and then my final question I've been asking everyone is, there's obviously a lot of teams at this LAN. There's a lot of people in the lower parts of the scene coming up and that sort of thing. Are there any like up-and-comers domestically at this LAN that you think have a shot of pushing up to the, that sort of next level? Um, go to Lorenzo first, because I need to think about that. Okay, Lorenzo? Well, I would say, I mean, I always focus on the IGLs because I'm an IGL myself. Yep. I don't really focus on the individuals that much. But I was very impressed last land by the Blue Jays Royals, who are now called Viper Academy. Yep. Um, made a few changes, but I'm personally impressed by the way I was seeing Shane calling. And just the whole way that entire team works was very, very impressive. That they were able to take a map off of me, Prime, within yep. at the last land is not easy to do i would say and they did it quite well in a quite a, they kind of smashed us in that one map that they won but yeah 
I think they've been doing well. Awesome. Right, have you had a thing? Yeah, was, uh, there isn't really... I'm trying to think of Orpus that are coming up. Obviously, he's talking about in-game leaders as an in-game leader. I'm trying to think in the same boat. Yep. I can't really think of any Orpus that are coming through right now. Um, I would also echo about Shane and Blue Jays Royals. I think their time of actually doing something successful at Atalan is going to come soon. Yep. They've been together a long time. And even just outside while I waited, I'm not going to say how long, but a long time for my pizza. They're out there just having such an amazing time, building good chemistry, and they've been together for a long time now. Yeah. Probably the third land in a row where they kept the same core, and that's very difficult to do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was your opening question to us about the team's folding, so yeah, that's what they've been able to keep up on. Um, echo about Shane, played some faces with him, played some qualifiers with him, I rate him. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, and then I guess my final thing is obviously future-wise, you guys are currently looking for an organization playing under the sort of flow state that, you know, moniker that you've been using for the last few lands. Um, in terms of international performance, you know, ESEA leagues, but also like UKIC and stuff, like what are your, your sort of goals? We'll make Div 1. It's about what we do next season in Div 1. I know that speaking to organizations over the last <clears throat> couple of years, not just before UKIC, but when the Premiership was here, yep. the organizations care far more about UK Division 1. They care far more about that over-advanced ESE main, main playoffs. I mean, we, me and Lorenzo made main playoffs last season, and the orgs don't care. Why? Because to get the viewership for it is difficult. Yep. You're playing versus international audiences, so there isn't the same emotion attached to the matches. It's not like we're playing friends where there's rivalries. You spoke to me about the rivals we have. Yep. I said, you know, obviously Belfast Storm. Less rivalries, less interaction, less fan interaction, less care, less eyeballs. We need to get in Div 1, and once we are, that's when um, we're going to have the right offer for us. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and the same, like, what are your sort of, you know, long-term expectations? Yeah, I agree with what Byfield's saying. I'd say we should expect to make main playoffs at least this season and also make Div 1. Anything above that would be a nice bonus also that would grant us a lot of eyes, I would assume. Awesome. These guys are looking for an org. Pick them up. Thank you very much, fellas. We'll see you in a bit.